I first knew that I really loved you when I realized I cared more about you than anyone else, even myself. That love is only deepened over time, buoyed upon every moment of your joy at seeing me, every memory we make, every one of your signature heart-melting smiles. It is the color I see in the world and the good I see in people. Monty, I'm so happy to be with you. I love how uh, when I'm with you, I feel welcome and seen, and I love how you always make time for me. I appreciate how I feel comfortable with you and how I feel that I can trust you. Beautiful. Every day, I aspire to be the man that you see in me. You inspire me with your fierce will, your genuine goodness, and most of all, the sheer joy that you express at life, your family, and your friends. You're so good to me, and you're so wonderful for continually working to be even better to me. Remembering things I appreciate and intentionally checking in to try and understand me even more. Thank you all for being here today to celebrate the union of Kendall Fisher and Monty Dillon. I'm so happy to be finally standing here. Ever since the day in college that I realized you weren't actually Mormon, but just very polite, <laughs> you've been the only one in my heart. Now I know what some people might say. You've only been together 15 years. You barely know each other. At least move to Florida or go on a cruise together first or something. I guess on some subconscious level, I always assumed the time to get married is once you'd figured your own life out. But my life is happening now, and I want that life to be with you. I love being silly with you. I love being present with you. I love team working with you. I love living life with you. I love you, and I cherish you, and I always want to be with you. I pledge to be your ally in all things, to celebrate our good times with delight and exuberance, and to weather our bad times with stoic calm and cheesy humor. I promise to always cherish you, and always be good to you, and always keep working to be better for you. I vow to live every day with you to its fullest, to never take you for granted, and to savor every moment of the time we are given. In closing, I hope that you have enjoyed hearing these vows as much as I've enjoyed writing them. <laughs> In place of a traditional ring exchange, Kendall and Monty have decided to never have to worry about that and have gotten permanent tattoos on their ring fingers to match each other. I would like to close with my favorite non-religious prayer I found from the Apache natives. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years. May happiness be your companion and your days together be good and long upon the earth. I love you, Kendall. Let's get married. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the privilege and the honor of presenting Mr. and Mrs. Monty Dillon and Kendall and Fisher, the married couple. Uh, it's perhaps no secret to those of us in this room that Monty has been quite fond of Kendall for quite some time. And on that note, I've been privy to many of Monty's deepest, darkest secrets, which I will now list in chronological order. Uh, nah, just kidding. They're not even that juicy anyway. But I'm proud to know these two and to be in their clans. And growing up alongside them has offered a unique perspective into their relationship, which I'd also like to share with you. So first, Monty always advocates against scary movies on movie night just for Kendall, even though he likes them. He cooks vegetarian food for her when he'd rather be eating a burger. He skis Deer Valley, even when he'd rather be snowboarding. And Lord knows what he does with all that beard hair when he shaves, but I've never seen a strand in their bathroom when I go over to their house. Speaking of beards and secrets, what is Monty hiding behind that beard? He has had it since he was 13, after all. Well, he is hiding something. And no, it's not a deep, dark secret. It's the best of himself that he reserves only for those closest to him. For those people, those of us here, he gives himself. And for Kendall, he gives himself completely. And he has as long as I can remember. 
And now that we're all grown up, she is still and has always been my biggest supporter, my free unlicensed therapist. She keeps my secrets and gives me life coaching. She is absolutely unselfish in the time she gives to her friends and family. She is talented and clear-eyed and like sassy in the perfect moment when you thought she was just so nice, then she'll just like give you a zinger. We are very excited to have Kendall. We know that she will continue to surprise us and amaze us as she goes forward in her life. As I've gotten to know Monty over the many, many years that they've been together, I have also realized that my sister is really lucky to have found such a great match in Monty. So tonight, as the couple punctuates this landmark of their love with a resounding exclamation mark, or in the case of Kendall's text messages, a cute little huggy emoji, I propose a toast. Uh, to Monty and Kendall, your love is inspiring, and we all love you guys. I truly could not have imagined a better partner for my sister, and it's a really high bar. Here's to Kendall, who I've been so proud to call my daughter for the last I don't know, all our life. And here's to Monty for giving her the love that she so richly deserves. So, Monty, thank you and welcome to the family. Good job.